This is Michael Pick for Robin Good Media Network and we're looking today at Near Time and some of its great new features. Near Time is an excellent collaboration space that allows you to create a series of different spaces, each of which can host wikis, blogs, uh, events management and even file sharing now which is a, a new addition. First up we're looking at the creation of a home page which can be completely automated to just display the latest information that's been added to your personal space or you can create your own. In the menu up here you can see you can go to the home, uh, create a new page, have a look at all of the pages that have been published, those that have just been recently changed and you can even print them off which is a nice feature. Creating a new page is very simple and uses a what you see is what you get editor with very simple straightforward kind of interface. Also, if you want to create new wiki pages, that is just as easy. All you have to do is highlight some of the text. And without having to use any code whatsoever, you just click on the little link at the top and that opens up a new dialogue. Now this dialogue's got two boxes so it couldn't get much more straightforward. You decide what you want to call the link, in this case I'm calling it the same as I have in text, Robin Good's Breaking News. And then you can either link to an external URL or you can create a new wiki page. Now if the wiki page already exists and you put the title in, obviously that's going to link to that. But if it doesn't exist, that's not a problem either. People can basically create that link when they click on it. If you look down here, you see the link that I've just created has a little question mark after it. That means the page doesn't exist yet. When I click on it, that will therefore open up the page editor. So someone can create that page for us now. Again, same interface, so really simple. The events management is very nice looking and very very easy to navigate as well. New events are created up here in the little tab. You can import from iCal and you can also export as well. So that's quite nice in that you've got that sort of interoperability. Now creating a new event is as simple as giving it a name, deciding uh, if you want to have a location, perhaps if it's an offline event you might want to tell you where, where the meeting's taking place, and you can give it a description in which you can also use wiki syntax if you want to create links or special formatting. You can decide obviously when you want it to take place, if it's going to be an all day affair, if it's going to be between particular dates or times, and you can also announce it in the news which is very nice. The news page will now have at the very top uh, a little bit of information telling people that this event has now been added and that it's something they need to take a look at. So when you click on the create you get basically uh, that will appear inside the calendar. If we click on that on the right in the purple box as you see the information we've just created is all on display. Next we're looking at file sharing. Now uh, originally in near time you could share files by attaching them but there's now a whole new section in which you can navigate by individual files, uh, you can put them into folders, uh, you can mark those that have been checked out so that gives you an idea as to who's actually accessed them and you can also have your own section um, in which you obviously got your maybe your private files or files that you're not ready to share yet. Click on new item which couldn't be easier once again and a little dialogue will open up. Here it is, you just simply upload a file from your desktop and if you want to give some information to the folder that you're adding it to, perhaps saying that you've now added this new information to the folder, you can change the info that will be displayed beneath that folder. I'm adding this to the home folder. Now the member section is great as well, you can create obviously your own um, profile, you can invite an individual to come and join you in your collaboration space or invite a whole group of people at the same time and when they have joined you can send a message to everyone. This will basically send out a group email so that's a nice simple way to get everyone involved uh, contacted at once. Now finally we've been given a sneak preview of the new dashboard feature which means that every individual user will have a unique start page um, and in this start page they can look at the latest information or tagged or information that they've personally added, uh, which events are currently coming up and they can also look at the files that have recently been added. So this is a really nice way to give each person a personalised start to the collaboration space.
This has been Michael Pick checking out the Near Time new features.